Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Friday, December 2nd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple quick clarification points. Number one, the price you see over here will be changing and the candlestick you see right there will be changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here as they're called represents 30 minutes worth of time. Stock number one here, AMC, and this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched past videos, but if you have, hopefully you remember me talking about this pattern here and specifically that red line right there. And you can see that right there, the price came up there during that 30 minutes, got a small little rejection, but on that next attempt right there, price got through it and wow, what an explosion. So anybody that watched those previous videos and took advantage of that breakout, a big congratulations to you as there is just a massive breakout today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these lines now as they've served their purpose for the time being and we'll map out some of the newest levels. So I'll zoom back in here. So first key level to watch moving forward and what I would consider an important pullback area. So if you like to play pullbacks at an interesting level, certainly right down here around $8.10. You can see a couple of times right there, price pulled back, found some support earlier on in the day before making a move back upwards. And yes, right now the price is pulling back a bit, uh, but within the grand scheme of things, obviously the price is still much higher than where it was, uh, you know, just going back to Wednesday. In terms of levels of resistance, seems though the new problem area, whoops, let's change it. There we go. New area to watch up here gonna be $9. You can see twice the price had problems. The first time, just a flat out rejection. The next time, yeah, the price did get above it. But the problem is the momentum quickly disappeared and back down it went. So $9 will be that new area of resistance moving forward. But anyway, look at it. Monster move today. So let's see if the momentum carries into Friday. Next, MULN. Very, very nice day today after what was looking like maybe game over. The price could continue to drift downwards. Volume had essentially dried up. Uh, but today the volume returned in a big way. Granted, there was a pullback here, but to give credit or credit to you, the price does still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base. And that's what it's all about. In terms of bigger picture reversals, it's all about building those higher bases. Nothing can go straight up as nice as that would be. You just want to see higher lows be put in place, which is why this 21 cent mark in my mind is now very important. And I'm not saying this will occur, but just for explanation's sake, let's say that the price did come down to 21 and then broke below it and kept on sinking. At that point, what would you have? You would quite literally have the price having gone right back inside of that range that it just broke out of and not to insult your intelligence but price movements that go back to where they were not exactly the sign of a genuine move or true power so again not saying that'll occur but just explaining why in my mind that 21 cent mark very very important moving forward in terms of levels of resistance first key level that seems to be presenting a bit of a problem right now is at 23 cents. And then after 23, you also want to keep an eye on the overarching level, that pink line up there, the very well-known, very famous 200 period moving average currently valued at 25 cents. But before you put too much emphasis on that, price has first got to prove it can get back up and you know get through that 23 cent mark. But all in all, great volume, especially like I said, when it was looking like it might've been game over. So let's see if the price can build upon this momentum. Next one, COMS, nice move today. Although the latter part of the day, a little bit of a disappointment. Now that doesn't mean that the entire chart has been epically destroyed because it hasn't. It's still higher than where it was. But what I mean disappointing in the form of, yeah, the price broke above that red line there, which I've talked about in past videos at 12 cents. Broke above it, fell back below. Broke, got back up to it when it broke above it, made a very nice move, and now is flirting with potentially going back below there. Again, not the end of the world if the price does go below 12 cents because from the big picture point of view, let me squeeze this down, you can see that the lows have still been getting higher and higher. So I guess I didn't need to go that far back, but ever since the price leveled off down around here, you can see from that point forward, there have been higher lows. So even if the price were to drop down here to basically 10 cents, I mean, that would still give a higher loan if you envision those as stair steps from a big picture standpoint, you would still have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. Now I do realize that if you're a day trader and you bought right there and your plan was to buy and sell within seven minutes, well then yeah, from that perspective, the chart looks really, really bad, but I'm making these comments for more so somebody that cares about the bigger picture point of view. So you're at a little disappointed with the pullback today, but overall the chart's still plenty, uh, plenty much so in an uptrend. Next one, TOPS tops, same general idea. Very, very nice start to the day. Very, very nice consolidation here. And then, wow, that one 30 minute session really, really, like I said, didn't destroy the entire chart because when you look at the lows right, there's a low, there's a low, there's a low. So you still do have the stair steps in play, but just from an overall, you had such a nice looking pattern here that was just wrecked during that one 30 minute candle there. Um, so some goofy price action and disappointing price action, 
But again, there is matters of perspective, which is why my job, you know, from a presentation, from a presenter standpoint is always tricky because you have a different perspective. So if you're a day trader and you bought right there, or maybe you bought right there thinking it was about to go up and your plan was to buy and sell within, you know, 10 minutes. Well, yeah, from either of those scenarios, the chart looks pretty bad. But overall, the chart's still hanging in there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these lines as they serve their purpose for now. But the, definitely, I'd say the big dynamic to watch now moving forward is going to be that pink line, the 200 period moving average, did a good job of providing support there. So even if the price pulls back, again, it's the whole idea of preventing the price from going back to where it was. So if the price were to go back down to that 200 period moving average and then drop below it at that point, now you're starting to flirt with you know the price having already gone back to where it was, which as we've established already, uh, is not gonna be the sign of any sort of genuine power. But overall, disappointing late day movement, but overall the trend is still in the upwards direction. Next one here, APE, A-P-E. I probably should have put this one right next to AMC. But anyways, overall, nice movement today. Bit of a rejection here. And that's where the first, you know, just power of charts comes into play because there's a foundational rule in charting. And I've had this green line out here for quite a while. But the rule states when levels of support are broken, they tend to act as resistance. And this was broken, you know, a couple of days ago. But you can see where did the resistance show up today? right there at that red line. So this is something you could throw right into a textbook if you wanted to in terms of how supports tend to act as resistance. So point here being moral of the story, going forward right up there around that dollar twelve, dollar thirteen mark is going to be that main area of resistance. As far as supports, same general topic here. So I'm not gonna repeat myself, you know, because you get the idea. But you know the key level in my mind is going to be right there at 97 cents. Why 97 cents? Well, hopefully you're saying, well, Clay, because if the price goes down below there, that is essentially putting the price right back to where it was, which we now know is not the sign of any sort of true, genuine strength. So yes, today was a good move upwards. Is there true power? Is there genuine strength behind it? Let's see if the price can start to show some signs of progress. And again, that quote unquote sign of progress being right down there around the 97 cent mark. Real quickly, wanted to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to help build consistency as a trader, then I want you to get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link in the description box. If you're watching on my site, there's an area right there on the webpage. One note though, because it's a live event, it's actually happening this evening. So there's a couple scenarios. First off, as a dad of five kids, I understand schedules are hectic and this could be too last minute for you. So maybe you already have something on your schedule or maybe you're just watching this Friday morning and you flat out missed it. No worries, go ahead, drop me an email and I would be happy to, and as my phone goes off here, <laughs> but I'd be happy to send you a link to the recording after the event happens. But like I said, all I ask is little patience because yes, it is a live event. So the event first needs to happen. Then I got to get the recording uploaded, but then I'd be happy to send it to you. So now if you can make it live, then hopefully I'll see you here in just a few hours, but definitely get signed up for it or drop me an email. Next one, COSM, and this one is starting to fall apart. I'm not gonna say that it's totally destroyed, and the reason for that is the price is still up above the upsloping 200 period moving average, which is a longer term trend indicator. So assuming you do care about things from the bigger, bigger picture point of view, uh, then yeah, the, the, the chart's hanging on there. Uh, but if the price does come down to 29 cents, which is the value of that 200 period moving average, and then breaks down through there, at that point, I mean, the bears are officially in control from all angles. Very clearly in the short term, the bears are already back in full control. Medium term, I'd say the bears are back in full control as the price is now absolutely demolished down through that 50 period moving average. So yes, things are things are falling apart, but have they completely fallen apart? In my opinion, that's a little too, too dramatic, but yeah, you, nobody can argue against the fact that as of now, things are certainly looking uh, quite rough. And in my mind, that 29 cent mark, again, because it's that 200 period moving average is a vital level moving forward from a support side of things. If there is any sort of attempted bounce back upwards, key area resistance can be right there at the 54 cent mark. Uh, but in my opinion, like I said, I think the most important dynamic now is just where is this bleeding going to finally stop because volume has kicked in uh, higher and the price continues to drop. But let's see if it can indeed get some sort of bounce around that 29 cent mark. Next one, FTCH, and I just threw this one here because, it, I mean, it's such an utter nasty R-rated train wreck. I mean, wow, to think, and the, the thing is, this thing actually had a small gap up today, moved up there, some poor souls bought. Hopefully they're using stop losses because, wow, after that, essentially straight down. And I don't wanna say this one's a super popular stock, but it's, it's relatively popular. You know, one of these famous stocks that, you know, from the tech sector that, you know, went boom, um, and it's now, you know, really come down. But, but point here being is, while it's not a super, super popular stock, there is a popular stock element, you know, to it. And when you have popular stocks get 
absolutely destroyed like this, it can produce some very interesting, uh, you know, dead cat bounces. And, you know, even if it were to, for example, bounce up to seven, I mean, from where it is now, that's still a quality potential trade right there. Again, I'm not saying it will, but the idea of a watch list is to find unique, to find interesting situations and not randomly rush out and buy anything, but to watch it, to observe it. So like I said, if you like to play situations like this where a stock gets just absolutely destroyed and then try to catch some sort of bounce, then I definitely keep an eye on it and get it on your watch list. Next one, Tesla, TSLA, and overall broke up through this nice area of resistance. So the first update, as I've mentioned earlier, when the resistances are broken, you ideally wanna see them act as support. So a bit of a pullback right here, uh, but that's where a dollar, or not a dollar 92, 192, actually, yeah. I guess 191.90 to be exact, but let's just call it 192. 192 will be that ideal level. I mean, if the price does drop below it, it's not the end of the world or anything like that because the price still has plenty of wiggle room up above that purple line there, the 50 period moving average, which is also increasing. So let me be very clear. 192 is just the level where to say, Clay, what make this chart look the absolute best moving forward? And yeah, that would be the level at 192. But by no means, if the price drops below it, does that mean everything is ruined? Let me go ahead and get rid of that level as it served its purpose. Now, in terms of levels of resistance, Main breakout point to watch moving forward, gonna be that tread line right there. In fact, after I drew that, I don't know how I didn't see it until now, but let me just draw up a quick little pattern here that's there. So for those of you that like to play, let me put the golf hole down here and make it more visual. For those of you that like to play bull pennant patterns, here you go, definitely a nice one here on Tesla, but overall a nice day, nice consolidation, and let's see if the pattern can get a breakout on Friday. Next one, AMZN, and just a beautiful looking pattern here. Now I do understand that, yes, right now, there is this downwards channel. But the thing with the downwards channel is you have to consider full context and ask yourself, well, what was happening before this downwards channel? And what happened was this explosive move here. So in documenting the entire picture, all I've just done now is drawn a bull flag pattern. Now, just because something's bullish, I probably should have said this with Tesla, but just because there's a bullish pattern, I wish trading was this easy. Does not mean that for sure guaranteed the price is gonna go up. But nobody could you know, accuse you of saying, well, geez, that, why, that's random to be bullish. What on the chart makes you think that you would be bullish, right? Nobody could accuse you of saying that. So again, because a, a pattern is bullish doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to happen, but it's at least makes your thought process very rational. So if you like to play bull flags, you have this one here on... Uh, Amazon. And like I said, if you like to play bull pennants, you have that one on Tesla. Next one here, TQQQ, the most popular ETF in the markets, always getting hundreds of millions of shares. And it's just a way to allow you to get access to the NASDAQ market. So if you think that the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, then you could just buy this one for a much cheaper price. And overall, this will mean a tad bit more to those of you that watched yesterday's video. But if you did, hopefully you remember me talking about that red line there when I mapped it out at 2385 as a key level of resistance. And you can see earlier on in the day, it actually did push up through it, which was a great sign of power. But then the momentum quickly disappeared, back down it went. And then this afternoon, once again, try to get up through that area. And 2385 is certainly being a very stubborn level and a problem. That does not mean that the price will never ever be able to push up through it. But it does make sense while the price is struggling around that area. So nothing, you know, shocking, nothing that would, I don't think, catch anybody off guard. Because again, like I said, had this level mapped out yesterday. Um, so it just makes sense relative to the technical chart, which is always a good thing when things make sense, even if it's a little annoying to say, well, I wish it didn't make sense and the price just completely crushed up through it. Uh, but no, that's not how it worked. And, uh, you know, right now the price is still stumbling around this 2385 mark. But all in all, and I wish I could say I had this intended, but I didn't. We're going to just finish off with another pattern and we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. So bull pennant here on TQQQ. If you like this one, then, you know, overall things are looking fine. Yeah, you had these pullbacks. Yeah, you have this little rejection occurring right now. Uh, but all in all, the chart is, is doing just fine. It's putting in higher highs and higher lows. And that's really all you can ask for. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free training. It'll be this evening. Thursday to December 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. But also, like I said, if you already have something on your schedule or you're watching this Friday morning, you completely missed it. Go ahead, drop me an email, clay at claytrader.com. And I would be happy to send you a link to the live recording. If you enjoy these top 10 videos, do a quick thing for me. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment. Tell me what you traded today. Tell me what you're watching tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out. And like I said, either get signed up and I'll see you in just a few hours, or hopefully I'll get an email from you and I'd be happy to send you a link to the class. Everybody take care, have a good one.